Hey everyone, today I'm playing a map called Crypt Crawler made by Nate T Bird. The download link and a link to his channel will be in the description. You should definitely check out his other videos for other awesome concepts as well. And today I'm actually joined by a guest, Bucking Girl 4, aka Bucky. Hey guys! <laughs> and we're gonna play this map together. So to play this map you actually need the resource pack installed. If you're going to play single player, then it'll be installed automatically as part of the world download. But if you're playing on a server like we are, then you actually need to either have the resource pack installed on the clients or set up a server resource pack. So we're going to play on the easy mode. We gain XP a lot faster and only lose 10% of our gold loss when we die. So let's get started. Okay, so the aim of the map is to get through this whole dungeon using weapons and items to kill the mobs along the way and killing mobs will get you gold and also XP. Gold is used to buy items from the item shops and once you reach level 100 XP you will level up and your maximum health will increase. And there's various different bits along the way as well but we'll explain them when we get to it. So you can see this chest is locked at the moment so I'm going to use this chest key to unlock it and the first gate key is in here so if we go up to this gate and right click it opens and we reach the first checkpoint and now the monsters start coming so oh god it starts off fairly easy um, in terms of the monsters uh, Okay, fine. <laughs> oh jeez, I'm stuck in a corner. So you can see on the ground there, that was plus 5 gold. You just picked it up. And this is what's called a summoner circle. This spawns different mobs if you're in the same area. I think it should. Oh, there we go. And that's if you just want to like collect gold, like farm gold, and XP, and um, let's not, it keeps spawning, oh, oh no, oh jeez, <laughs> so I just picked up a new weapon, the sharp mine, this does two melee damage, Get everything. Yeah. Okay, so what we have to do at this point is get through the next gate, which is right next to the previous gate. But to do that, we have to get oh god, we have to get a gate key. Oh, I got a chest key. So that should be for this chest, I think. Maybe I get a knife out. <laughs> okay, wait, did you pick up a key? No, okay, I got a key. Cap and bread. Eat more bread. Ready? Yep. Oh god, oh god, I got stuck. And my knife broke. And my other sword broke. Do you have a weapon? To, oh yeah, okay. So we need to open this chest. Yep. <coughs> there you go. Plate shield. Reduces incoming damage. 
by 60% when held, and hold right click to block 50% more incoming damage. And has knockback resist. Oh, so it has melee damage as well, so I can actually hit people with this. <laughs> okay, so wait, you. Okay, so you got the next gate key, so now we need to go through the next gate. I'm gonna eat. Uh, hold on. Oops. Yep. Eat shield. There's chest in here. As well as a load of mobs. <laughs> oh, that's the gatekeeper. So the gatekeeper has the key. So I've got the next gate key as well. Oh, did you get it? Oh, yeah. So that's why you get so much gold from. I've only got 445. And so this is the first item shop as well. And so this is the item guide where you can look up... Oh yeah. So this is a secret area in here. You can see that it uses the animated textures to glow sometimes. Hopefully it will glow. Oh, okay, there it is. So it glows and there's a secret in here. So there's different XP bottles and a demonic club and some food juice. So I'm going to use this experience so I can level up. So you can see when I reach... Don't steal it. <laughs> so you can see when I reach level 100, I level up and my maximum health increases as well. So yeah, this is the first item shop. And with the item guide, you can actually look up the different shops and what they sell you. So there's, there's a page on consumables which just goes about like the foods and the potions. Um, but on the first shop page, it, sh it shows you the different weapons. Um, so most of them are fairly standard, I believe. Yeah, they also sell armor as well in this shop. In the first shop they do. So there's the Lucky Rabbit Foot, which has Looting 3, and the Magic Feather, which increases movement speed by 100% when held. So I think I might get that just for easier, like, moving around. And I'm also going to buy a full set of leather armor. And this right here is oh, a yeah. recycling bin. You can put things in there that you don't need, like rotten flesh and bones, and it'll give you XP. So that will help um, raise it as well. Yeah, level your XP. And I should also mention that the different sort of weapons and items in the game oops, also have um, different what's called item attributes to them. So, for example, the Magic Feather has plus 100% movement speed. And that's only when it's held. And the Demonic Club gives you minus 30% max health points, but deals 5 melee damage. So if I hold that, you can see my maximum health goes down, but I will hit harder. Um, there's also the Plate Shield, which you saw before, which does various different things. <laughs> um, and the Club and Knife, which do 2 melee damage. So I think you also have the Slow Mace, was it? Yeah. Oh, the he heavy mace. Or did you, re you recycle it? Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to drink some of this food juice, which is just a saturation potion. So it'll heal my hunger fully. And wait, have we gone? We came from this way, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we'll go into the next area. Ah. I'm going to use the demonic club. Jeez. Oh, now the secret area. Golden shower firework. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? I'll buy a few of these. Okay. Down the stairs. Checkpoint. Oh god. Holy crap. Oh. 
Another one. Okay. What's in that? You can have a knife, I'll give you half of your speed bottle. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I only went up like two levels. Magic feather. Oh, look. So, this is one of the reasons I like this map the sort of clever use of a resource pack. As you can see here, there are spikes which go up and down. I think is awesome. So you gotta like time the jumps. There's also a secret here. Oh god. Oh, 245 gold. Nice. I timed that badly. Did you die? Yeah, I didn't see him. Oh god. Oh shoot. No, don't, don't shoot me, Arthur. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> Die. <laughs> um, I don't really want to go in there. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, jeez. And archers. Oh yeah, that's the gatekeeper you can see in front of me. So he drops the key. So we now have the key for the next dungeon. Oh no, my club broke. Did it? Did it? Yeah, it broke. Ooh, XP. Level up. I left some in there for you. Oh, actually, can I take this one? So this is the bio shield. It like it just gives you um, absorption, like more health for a period of time. Uh, so I shall use that now. Eat shield. Ooh, there's three chests. Do you have a key? Yeah. Open that one. Greater health potion. I took the arrows. And... Is that everything? Well, I got a lucky blade. Pass here a sec. Yeah. Okay, so that just has looting three. And so I think we will leave end the first episode here, just outside this gate, because we've gone pretty far already. So we'll end this first episode. Um, the download link for the map will be in the description, like I said. And also make sure to visit Nate Tiber's channel for some other awesome videos. And try his other maps as well, because they're really good. I especially enjoyed this map so far. So that's it from us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.